over 10,000 square miles. That's how big the greater Everglades ecosystem is. So when invasive Burmese pythons showed up, the question was, where do you even start? Well, after decades of observing these creatures, I think us humans have finally gained enough knowledge to start having some meaningful impacts on their populations. One thing we have learned is that the large reproductive females are vulnerable for about a two month period. I am referring to the nesting season. Unlike most snakes, pythons will actually incubate and guard their eggs until they hatch. This means that if we get our timing right, we have the opportunity to not only remove giant clutches of eggs before they hatch, but also remove the large female that's laying them. The biggest vulnerability for these nesting pythons is the fact that their eggs cannot be laid in water or they will drown. They're forced to be on the higher elevations that do not flood. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Everglades, but most of it is underwater and there are limited dry habitats. During this past nesting season, we focused on searching the habitats that have the highest chances of having nests. Through this, we were able to remove 431 python eggs from the Florida ecosystem before they even had a chance to hatch. Thank you for joining us on this adventure as we learn more about managing these snakes in Florida, and we hope you enjoy the video. God, never ending. I'm just gonna hear buzzing in my nightmares tonight. Bzzz. Pro tip when you're looking for python nests, if you find other reptilians nesting in the same place, you're probably in a good area. This was a, an alligator nest from last year. So it's telling me the soil and humidity is correct here. Hopefully there's a python. So I don't know if you guys can see that coil, but that is what we have been looking for. That is a mama python on a nest. And I mean, just look at how completely buried she is and just undetectable. You really gotta know what you're looking for to find these, these gals. All right, so we have taken away all the brush so that it'll be a lot easier for us to extract her. And we are about to do it. We're about to do the deed. Let's do it, man. Yeah. we have been waiting all year for. Start scraping. Watch out. Oh, that's a monster. It's gonna be the angriest version of the python. <sighs> There's the head. Oh, there's the head. That's so crazy. Watch your hand. I that am. Real close. Ooh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I saw my opportunity there. That's all right. Hold on, I got it. Just, just all help right. me out. Yep. This back half. There's the eggs. Try not to hurt them. Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> That head is ginormous. Yeah, that's a giant snake. This is probably 16, 17 feet. This is actually a very calm capture. This is going very well. I'm glad. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just putting my body weight, my arms here. I don't want this front part right here to coil me. That's usually where people get bit. It's when they throw that coil over your wrist, slide it towards their mouth and they, bit, they can bite you. So we're kind of prioritizing, just, just sitting on her, let her tire out. And luckily, she's already rather exhausted. She put about 30% of her body mass into this clutch of eggs. Hasn't eaten in six to nine months. She is much, much weaker than she usually is. And uh, it works to our benefit really well. Sure, I can be angry. Yeah, she's not done for right now, but she has already pretty much given up entirely. That's because she's exhausted, because she was a good mom. Always feels so bad getting them off the eggs. They are really, truly good mothers comparatively to other reptiles. You weren't lying when you were like, if we find one today, it's gonna be big. Oh yeah, they're all big in this area. <laughs> I have no idea where the 12 footers are nesting at, but we've seemed to figure out the 16, 17 footers, so that's a good start. <laughs> yeah, dude, oh, that might, might be 17 feet. Only 17 footers. Only 17 footers. That's how the critter cult does it. My goodness, guys. That's so crazy. My freaking goodness. Oh, Woo! That's what we call a daisy chain. A daisy chain. <laughs> oh, so based off the habitat we're in, this one probably actually did not eat deer like the other ones we usually find. This is more of an alligator and crocodile centric habitat, so. 
This lady is probably chewing on alligators as her main diet out here. No more, we'll get her out and get her babies. And we'll stop the cycle from the beginning. What an epic, epic snake, man. So now next, we are going to take measurements and data on all of this on the nest, on the eggs. We're gonna measure the eggs and get a weight on all of them, count the, them. Get a measurement of this cavity as well, get the dimensions of it, see what, what, what about this location made this so perfect and we wanna be able to replicate this. So trying to find out as much information as we possibly can while we have the opportunity. How many eggs do you think that is, Meg? Um, at least three. <laughs> at least at three. Least three. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go with about, go 71. That's my guess. I'm going 64. 64? Solid What's guess. What's your guess, Andrew? 76. 76, that's a good guess. <laughs> the exact number that we've had for others. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. Wow. Wow. That is heavy. That is, that is so many, so many eggs. That is so many eggs. This is like 30-ish pounds, 40 pounds. This is a lot of weight and baby snake right here. Cause there's the hole she was in. Really not that big, but full concealment. And who would have thought I was holding? 16, 17 foot python with that many eggs. <laughs> so uh, we brought an extra big bag for today, hoping we would get a big snake. And hey, look at that, we actually did. So we're gonna put the big snake in the big bag and then we're gonna process all these eggs, see how many there are and get measurements on everything. <laughs> Wow. wow she only feels like she's 90 pounds and this Which... is this is why we said christmas it's christmas in the everglades because <laughs> this is our santa sack right here our <laughs> santa sack of goodies and just get a better understanding of how much these snakes reproduce how quickly and what does the development look like inside of these giant potatoes <laughs> let's find out how much does one of these weigh all right egg number one 217 grams the length on it is three and three quarter inches. Width is going to be two and a half inches. And so these are really well stuck together. Mucus there. You can see it's actually really hard to peel that off. Wow, that viscera right there. It's right where the eggs were connected. These are really sticky. And from my understanding, right, that's to help to keep them together is to help the humidity, right? To, and the with heat the as well, yeah. yeah. So the mothers actually sit around the eggs and they shiver to keep it at the correct temperature. There's not many snakes that actually incubate their clutches. So it's really interesting to see a mama snake do that and take care of her babies like this. This snake ended up being 16 feet, seven inches in length and weighed in at 92 pounds. There was a total of 58 eggs in this clutch and they all averaged at about half a pound in weight. Just about every other clutch we found after this had almost the exact same egg sizes, including the one that we found the very next day. On this day, we started our morning off with this gorgeous Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. These are always such a treat to see, but not the snake we are targeting. After hours and hours of hiking through rigorous habitat, we finally found ourselves on another nesting python. Pretty big. Boy. Oh, there's the face oh. right there. Pretty big snake. Be careful. There you go. Good grab. Good grab. There you go. I okay. got her. Pull that out. Pull that out. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at those I eggs. Get it on my own. Great capture, Megan. Oh, yes. Another python. I got it all <laughs> on my own. Let's yeah. go. Oh, I was so nervous for you grabbing it from the front, but great, great capture. No hesitation, that's the key. <laughs> oh yeah, nice 13 footer here. And you, like Kyle has said on other grabs, you want to make sure this coil does not, is not able, ooh, a little out of breath, is not able to wrap around your wrist because that's how they're going to able, they're going to be able to get you. Yeah. Get free. Oh my goodness. Ooh, I got so much adrenaline, I can't oh. even. 
That's oh, a much more. Oh man. Fresh little egg right there. Oh, this is awesome. That is beautiful. This is awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Woo! Number two this week, baby. Yeah. So Kyle is going to take out. Wow. This mess. Oh my god. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful big clutch. Mess. 13 footer, that's a lot of eggs. This is, in our opinion, the time of year where as independent contractors we can make the biggest difference. I mean, this is getting like 40 pythons at once rather than going out and picking up some hatchlings. Instead of just getting a few eggs, we are getting 100% of them. All of these little pythons will not be released out into the Florida ecosystem. So this is our second python nest this week, and this actually looks like a pretty big nest for how small this snake is, you know, small. <laughs> She's probably about 13 feet, I want to say. Yeah, 13, maybe 14, but that looks like a healthy clutch. It looks like at least 40 eggs in there. Yeah. That's pretty big. Let's try and get all the mosquitoes too. Get this clutch out. Oh, man. Oh, the, no, it, it didn't break. It did not. Look at that. There. I mean, that is rather beautiful, isn't it? Just all that egg. egg. It's gorgeous. Egg. Oh, we got one split. <laughs> this snake measured in at 13 feet, 7 inches, and weighed 46 pounds. She laid a total of 39 eggs, and the clutch weighed 18 and a half pounds. I'm hesitant to say that searching for nesting pythons is fun, but I can definitely say that it feels gratifying to know that we're actually doing some damage to the python population in this area. And just a reminder, Burmese pythons are an invasive species here in Southern Florida. They are spectacular animals, but unfortunately they eat tons of our native wildlife. If you thought this video was crazy, make sure you stay tuned for part two of this nesting series. We found multiple double nests with absolute monster pythons. It was insanity. Thank you so much for watching this video. It genuinely means a lot to us. If you want to support us in our Python endeavors, the best way you can do that is to subscribe to The Critter Cult. See y'all in the next one. This is awesome! Woo!